he said it like five times on how much he was a Trump supporter just to scare me and scare them. Like, yo. Where is me? I'm so sorry I didn't tell you all. I seen the messages. I'm here. I'm here. I was so tired. I was so hungry. So, yes, I drove the whole 15 hours. I was so happy. Very proud of myself. Would I do it again? Hell no. <laughs> Yo, I was so tired. And I did learn was that you can really do anything you put your mind to because I was doubting myself like crazy. But I did it. That last hour, no, I did not beat the dark. So that last hour was not only scary, it was long. I felt like the last hour itself was five hours. Oh my gosh, it was so dark. But I kept on like trailing after somebody. So I followed his car and he was driving slow. Again, God is good, God is great all the time, and I made it. So you all have a great Saturday, and I will be going to venture off in Arizona, and then I'll be getting back on the road today. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get there. Um, I'll be staying with my cousin. 
So, um, guess where I'm going? Guess right here. What is life? When I think of life, this is exactly what I think of. I think of magic, I think of happiness, I think of love, I think of people, I think of you, I think of spirits, I think of happiness, joy, I think of joy, I think of freedom, I think of sadness, I think of living in your truth, your purpose, your reality, I think of you. When I think of life, I think of you. And life is so beautiful, so remarkable. I think of death when I think of life. I think of it because living life to your fullest purpose is when you, when you leave this life, you leave a legacy, you leave your footprints. Life is amazing and I'm so glad to be alive. The presence of the Lord is here, the presence of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. The presence of the Lord is here. I can't feel the presence of the Lord. And I'm gonna tell somebody right now. I can't feel the presence of the Lord. And I'm gonna help somebody right now. I oh, I'm literally dead. It's I can't feel the presence of the Lord. And I'm gonna get my blessings right now. What was I saying? What was I saying? You can hear me? I don't, that wasn't right. That was Can I let you all know I've never been this scared in my life? I can't stop shaking. Like, I'm literally shaking. But anyways, so I went to go stop and get some food at the authentic Mexico, Mexican taco place. And when I get up there, I see three white girls. I didn't know how to feel. I don't want to be talking to my friend at the time. I didn't know how to feel. And I was just like, I don't understand if it says authentic tacos. Like, yeah. Anyways. So I'm sitting there talking to people from Barcelona and this family comes up in this big old truck and they get out of the car and they say hi. So I said hi back. And so when they ordered their food and they sat down, he asked, he's like, where are y'all from? And I said, oh, they're from Barcelona. I am from Seattle. And he was like, oh, okay. He said, oh, so y'all speak Spanish, right? I was like, no, we speak Catalina. Catalina. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Anyways, it's another type of Spanish. Anyways, he talked about, he's like, okay, you guys are smart. If you're from Barcelona, that means that you guys stopped the immigration population. The man from Barcelona didn't really understand too much. And so he was like, huh, huh? And he's like, yeah, we, we we're trying to get immigrants out of here too. He said, we're Trump supporters. Don't you see my son's shirt? We're Trump supporters. I tell you my heart dropped, my heart dropped. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. And so I got up and I went to go throw my trash away and I told them, I said, y'all have a great day and I walked off. He looked at me and watched me walk to my car. Him to sit there and have engage in a conversation to announce that he's Trump supporters and that he's trying to get immigrants out. Being at a Mexican, authentic Mexican restaurant. What, how does that work? How does that work? Hey, it's an authentic Mexican restaurant that's supposed to be like somewhat on the border of Mexico and you're going to sit there and go eat and then you're going to sit there and have a conversation with people from Barcelona and talk about how you're Trump supporters and then look at me all crazy yo yo I'm literally in tears he said it like five times on how much he was a Trump supporter just to scare me and scare them like yo it doesn't make any y'all I'm going to make it to where I'm going to make it there I'm going to get there safe and Lord bless please please bless my travels and bless this world how how do you go to a Mexican restaurant and then say that like really why if you're a Trump 
again, I was scared. But it wasn't scared because of him being a Trump supporter. It was scary because I'm out here by myself. It was scary because he's looking at me in my eyes while he continues to say that he's a Trump supporter. Like, are you serious? Like, and then let me establish again that it said authentic Mexican restaurant on the sign. So, and then you pull in. And who knows? He probably know that there was three white women working in the food truck. But at the same time, how dare you? Again, I was scared. But it wasn't scared because of him being a Trump supporter. It was scary because I'm out here by myself. It was scary because he's looking at me in my eyes while he continues to say that he's a Trump supporter. Like, are you serious? Like, and then let me establish again that it said authentic Mexican restaurant on the sign. So, and then you pull in. And who knows? He probably know that there was three white women working in the food truck. But at the same time, how dare you? And continues to try to instill fear in two people. Well, multiple people because it was more than two. But fear in people's eyes because you want to continue to say that you're Trump supporters? Like, yo, the guy from Barcelona didn't even know what he was talking about. Like, the guy from Barcelona was like, what? Who? Trump? Who? Like, yo, I should have said the same thing. But no, it was best for me to get out of there because you know how my mouth gets and I was ready I was ready but it was five of them and just me yo I'm getting out so now I'm sitting here questioning myself if I did the right thing like should I tap told them like hey family come up with me let's go I don't know these people they didn't even know who Trump was but the lesson I did learn from all of this is that I love people still I love my people even more and yo we got some work to do we got some work to do. Y'all stay blessed. Happy Saturday and I love you all. I'm in Vegas! <laughs> Yo, I just want to turn up. I want to party. I want to drink. I want to turn up.